I don't get it. One minute you're obsessed with getting the act perfect and the next you don't even care. Look, it's just a talent show, it's not a big deal. Right. So that's why you nearly had a panic attack when you first found out about it. That was then, right? So is the act ready? Soon find out, won't we? Look, Philip, if there is something wrong, then you should just tell me. There's nothing wrong, okay? <laughs> Ross, I like your new hairstyle. I'm not sure about that headband now. Yeah, um, style suits you though. Thanks. Got somebody noticed. Tell me what's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Well, you're lying because something's bugging you. Right, do you know what's bugging me? You, okay? Always going on, interfering with my life, and I'm sick of it. Hey, quiet, please. School's not over yet. And in case you didn't know, I've already got a mum. I don't need another one. Philip? Hey, where do you think you're going? Oi! Morning, Ryan. How's things? Everything okay? Yes, sir. Yes, or do I have to worry about you, Ryan? No, sir. Excellent. I hate to worry. It's nice. It's well glam. What does Philip think of it? I ain't shown him it yet. It was meant to be a surprise, but... He'll love it. It's a proper stage shirt. You'll feel like a big-time comedian. Yeah, you're too good for him, you know. Philip! Look what Ross got you. Uh, you know what? Forget about it. Uh, I'm pulling out the stupid chair. I'm not doing it. Oh, Philip! Stupid cow. Right, my break dancers. Where are my break dancers? Thank you. And Philip. Philip. Oh my god. Philip. Oh, it's, uh, it's nothing, is it? Oh, what on earth's happened? Um, football practice. Right. Nice. Right, so let's give them a show they won't forget, eh? Mm-hmm. And now for a very funny young man, Mr. Philip Ryan. Thank you, yes. Everybody okay? So I was in the playground the other day and this little kid tried to sell me his maths book. Uh, I didn't buy it from him though. I've got enough problems. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So let's say a big hello to all the ex John Foster's kids. Hey, now, nah, come on. I know they can be a bit snobby, but it can't have been easy coming here. I mean, have you tasted a canteen's caveat? It's minging. <laughs> but now they've, they've brought some great things to this school, and we've had a fantastic time stealing them. Is it me, or is he suddenly got fit? It must be the lights. <laughs> they did give us Tyler, though. And I know we should have kept the receipt, but what can you do? <laughs> He's very dependable, is our Mr. Tyler. Can always rely on him to ruin your day. And now, he's trying to ruin the school. Getting rid of all the best things about it, all the best people. Ah, better watch my step here, eh, Max? Don't you get you angry? Because we both know what happens when you get angry. Don't we, Max? Ah, oh, come on and join me, how we, Max? We can do a double act if you want. We can do the sketch we did in your office last week if you want. That was funny, was that? Cooler. Now. Get the next act ready. Thinking we had an arrangement, an understanding, and you go and pull a stunt like that. That's what you get for not keeping your side of the bargain. I heard it with Rachel. You're already trying to get her out. It won't work. You won't win. She's not going anywhere. Ah, oh, I'm afraid she is. The wheels are already in motion. Yeah, well, they'll soon stop once I report you for assault. <sighs> you do what you have to. You'll probably just make things worse for her. Philip Ryan is an emotional and easily influenced boy, very protective of his aunts. Do anything for her, including making spurious and damaging allegations against me. When pressed on the subject, Philip admitted that Rachel had persuaded him to lie. Using a pupil in such a way proves that Rachel Mason is unfit for this and any other teaching post. No one's going to believe that. Yeah, my word against yours. Mm, I'm the one with 
10 years exemplary service. I'm the one the LEA listens to. You, you're just a sad, lonely little boy who tries to be funny just so that people will like him. Philip, everything all right? Everything's fine. I'm sorry, Philip, but I don't believe you know. Come on, tell me what this is all about. I just got carried away, that's all. All right, I just took the joke too far. Ross said that you said some really serious things about Mr. Tyler, about him getting angry with you. I, I'm just trying to get a laugh. Yeah, but you see, I don't believe that you do that sort of thing for fun. Now, oh, come on, what's on your mind? Look, will, will you just drop it, all right? I messed up and I'm sorry, OK? If there is something that you want to tell me about Mr. Tyler, There's nothing. you mustn't feel afraid. Rachel. What? Just let him go. Come on, Philip, I'll be up. Well, Why did you just do that? Because I was trying to talk to him. Because he has got nothing else to say. He just took things too far, that's all. It's obvious there's something going on with him and Max. No, there's not. There's something going on between you and Max. Oh. God, this is never going to end, is it? The longer you and Max are here, the longer everybody has to suffer. I am not causing that. It doesn't matter. This school cannot take another term of you and Max going at each other all the time. What are you trying to say? That something has to give. You think I should go? Do you know what I don't know? I just want what is best for this school. And this, it, it can't carry on. How's it going? So far, so good, I think, really. Philip's act is proving a bit hard to follow. Yeah, I heard he took things too far. A bit far? Kim, he was outrageous. Poor Max having to sit through that. I'm sure Max will survive. I knew something was wrong before he went on because he was in a foul mood. Well, that doesn't sound like Philip. Mm, well, I know, and you should have seen his reaction when I talked about his bruise thing. Right. Bolton, you're on. What bruise? 